Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. This is a quick tutorial on how to get the best quality panoramas out of your DJI Mavic. So, if you're anything like me, you take your drone out on a nice day, you fly it around, you have some fun, you make some videos, you take some pictures, and you take some panoramas. Totally forget to stitch those panoramas together using the DJI app, and you go home, you take everything off the memory card, and you're left with a bunch of parts of photos. You can download the DJI Media Maker for your Mac and stitch the JPEGs together, but you're not gonna get as good a quality image and you don't have as much control over it in post. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to get the most quality out of your raw images, stitch them together using Photoshop and edit them in Lightroom. Let's have a look. Before we get started, one thing I always recommend for people wanting to record stuff with their drone is that they shoot in RAW for their photos. To make sure you're shooting in RAW, open up your camera in your DJI app and then you're going to select the little camera icon and you just want to then click on the image format and just make sure you're shooting in RAW. That's going to give us the most control in post and it's actually those RAW files that's going to help us edit today. If you also just want to um, check your colour to make sure that it's in D-Log, nice neutral profile, and that again stops anything being lost. Okay, so when you pull everything off of your memory card, you end up with this, a big mix of DNG and JPEGs. There's 21 photos were taken and your drone will have saved a JPEG and a DNG of each one. The DNG is a raw file and the JPEG is a compressed file. We don't want to use the JPEGs because they will have lost data during compression and the final picture won't be as crisp. So what you usually would do is pop into Lightroom, add a folder, select our folder that we want to use and hit go. This will pick just our raw files um, and we'll just import all of those. Once those guys are imported, this is usually really simple. Select everything, right click, photo merge and panorama. Not every time, but sometimes I've started to get errors on this. I'm not sure whether it's because of the light and dark in the photos, the size of the photos or whatever. Um, but Lightroom has been a bit unreliable for stitching together large panoramas. As you can see, no good, we can't really use it. I did find I was able to stitch the first seven together and the last seven together, and then like four out of the middle, but all in all, it was a bit unreliable. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up Photoshop here, go up to File, Automate, Photo Merge. Go to Browse, pick the photos you want just gonna pick the DNGs. Hit open. And there we are. All in all, that took about three minutes, so I've sped it up for you guys. But this is a much nicer image. There's our big panorama we can see right across. And now we can just save that however we want. Save it as the untitled panorama. Stick it in there. From there, you can just pop that into Lightroom and do whatever editing you want. There you have it. A banging panorama ready for your thumbnail. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you soon.